Welcome to another day at the shop. I'm Corey, and today I'm working on cleaning up this uh, 5.4 V8 from my wife's expedition there. Uh, I'm rebuilding it. Uh, it's already got uh, new bearings and everything, so I'm going through and doing pistons and everything else. As you see, here's a bunch of my junk. The heads, uh, the valve covers, oil pan, intake, other things. Here's all the pistons out of it. I'm gonna go have everything checked at the machine shop, make sure it's A-OK, -okay, but I'm not taking the block. I'm taking the heads, block looks good. So, with the block looking so good, well, not here, because that looks like 20 years of just rust. A uh, little background on this motor. Uh, we bought it, well, we bought the Expedition a year ago. Uh, we bought it from a couple that are from the northern states. We're in Alabama. So this is not normal for us. Uh, rusting body panels, that's a little bit of norm. But a rusting engine block, as bad as this is, and some of the rust in there on the frame that I'm going to take care of as well, uh, that's not normal. So not for us at least. Uh, I'm cleaning this up so I can paint it with some high temp paint. Uh, right now I'm just getting all these rust chips. As you see, rust is everywhere. Fluids everywhere. Everything's everywhere. Nasty, dirty. I've already taken the liberty to mask off the top so debris doesn't just fall down into where the crankshaft is. Uh, I'm cleaning this up. I'm going to mask off the front as well. I'm going to clean some of this off too where the gasket for the uh, water pump goes. And this should all be good to go once, uh, as you see, there's still RTV. Uh, once all the stuff is cleaned, this is prepped uh, and covered, I can start painting. Uh, I'm not sure what color. I don't know if I want to go with black or red. Neither color goes with Ford, but the block has been black before, so I'm kind of leaning towards black. Uh, I just want a good look for in the engine bay once all this gets put back uh because it looks kind of crappy right now so uh i'm going to show you how to clean up this rust and prep and get everything ready for a nice little spray paint job with some high temp paint uh this is how i'm doing it you can do it a different way uh i'm, I'm not a professional by any means so uh i'm just cleaning it up I'm gonna just throw a couple coats of uh high temp paint uh, I'm not sure if I have primer. If I have primer, I'll throw it down first. But uh, in the gist of things, cleaning off all of this loose rust right here that's built up, making a smooth, nice surface. Uh, Going to take some bolts and put in these holes right here. Make sure no rust or anything else gets in there or the paint doesn't get up in there and uh, mess up the threads to where I can't put it back or put the bolts back whenever I reassemble the engine. Uh, it's just to kind of protect the engine more of from more rust and also give it a better look rather than a rusty pile. So. Uh.
So, as you saw, I've done one side. I've sprayed it off with some uh, brake cleaner. There's my. I still have little bits and pieces here and there. Get these all up so they don't keep water or moisture or uh, the other paint from sticking good. Um, brake cleaner is a great thing to have, especially for paint, uh, because you take away all the uh, other properties as of oils and greases and whatnot, and it evaporates pretty quick. So, as you see, I'm still taking off some of this old paint and some of this rust. Uh, most of the rust I've taken care of. It got pretty thick up here and all these holes and everything else, but sprayed it off with some air. I'm going to do it one more time. Spray it down with some brake cleaner one more time, and then, like I said, I'm going to put some bolts in these holes to fill them. Uh, and prep the front, prep the bottom section so I don't get paint into the cylinders. I'm only going to put basically a probably a piece of tape right here just leaned up so the paint doesn't go inside of it. It just more of coats up here. Uh, I'm not too worried about the rest of it. These freeze plugs I'm not real worried about because there's nothing that they do other than pop out when the block freezes. So, uh, Let's finish up this prep job. Alright, so as you see, the block is clean, taped off, taped off on the front, taped off on the side, mist taped off. Ready to go. Temperature's good, so uh, a lot, I'm not going to put. Uh, bolts in there. It's too much work. I gotta find them all. They're somewhere. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint. So Alright, I'm gonna let that tack up for a little bit and then I'm going to put a second coat on. So I'm not using too much of this, which is good, uh, on the first coat. Second coat's going to be a little bit more. Third coat's going to be a little bit more. So we can get a good, good, good uh, seal on this where it's not accepting rust as much. Uh, the paint I'm using is uh, engine enamel, 500 degrees. So it's oil and gas resistant or gas and oil resistant. So it works. I've used it before. Uh, it's pretty nice, so we're going to let this sit for a little while, like I said, and then we're going to come back and put a second coat. So, Alright, time for a second coat. We can coat some sitting here cleaning tools because i got a mess everywhere. So. Third and final coat. dry as you see I've removed the tape so it's not the most spot-on perfect job in the world but that's clean ready for some gasket maker this right here is pretty good right there is where some gasket maker goes but we can clean that up with a razor blade this side we don't really have to block off anything so it's really nice really shiny yeah you can see the defects from the uh, the rust and whatnot, but it still makes it look a lot better being uh, purely black versus just rust falling off of it. So we got this ready to go. Uh, I didn't paint these areas. I probably could have. I did a little bit over here. Uh, this back panel is going to get cleaned up a little bit more before we go and start rebuilding this. Uh, the interior is going to get cleaned up as well. 
uh, it's gonna get sprayed down, cleaned up, re-oiled, and put back together. So, just wanted to make a short video on a uh, small how-to. So, cleaning your engine block, painting it, making it look fresh and clean, uh, doing it properly to make sure that the rust doesn't just come back how it wants to, uh, using the correct paint for what you're using. Uh, this paint, like I said, it, it's gas and oil resistant, so that means it won't corrode it with gas, uh, eating it up, making it peel like normal uh, paint would. Uh, the oil, it won't sit on it and uh, kind of make it all nasty like oil normally does. Uh, and then it won't melt off. It won't break away and just uh, chip off and everything else like regular paint would. Uh, regular spray paint over time will chip off and not be such a good job for it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want more videos like this, just give me a thumbs up, comment below. Uh, make sure you check out the Instagram and Teespring. See what's going on, see what's new, see what's coming up. But until next time.